Today we're going to be talking about the brand new Trionics unit from Pulsar. This is a digital night vision thermal fusion device, meaning it can switch seamlessly between thermal and night vision with the click of a button. This brings along its primary advantage, the Trionics unit being able to switch between thermal and digital night vision in a single click in one device is brand new to the thermal world. You can take advantage of thermal for its detection range advantages while also being able to capitalize on the digital night vision for its identification capabilities. There are a couple of things to note when you pull this unit out of the box to get a better user experience. Starting with the brand new battery. It's important to note that with this battery, on the bottom side, you'll see a latch. Once you open this latch, the battery should slide out seamlessly. It's also important to note to put the battery back in that the latch also has to be open. If the latch is closed, you'll notice the battery will not go back in. Do not try to shove the battery back in the battery compartment. Just open the latch, slide the battery in, and you'll notice there's still a little bit of gap, but that's all right. Just simply close the latch and it pulls the battery right in. The next thing to note on the unit, as soon as you power it on, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is adjust the diopters to your eyes. This right here should clear up any blurriness you see in the menu screen. Simply boot the unit up, pull up the menu, and adjust these to each individual eye. The next important step is adjusting the pupillary distance. You'll notice on the Trionics unit, the plastic tabs right here in front of the eyepiece, you simply just grab them and push them closer together or further apart to match the distance between your pupils. This will also help clear up any blurriness you see in the menu. There are three modes in the Trionics unit. The first one we will highlight is the thermal mode. This mode is actually pretty simple as it's a fixed focus and cannot be adjusted. This mode is primarily used for quick identification over long ranges. Now, if you switch it to the digital channel, this unit utilizes the manual focus. Meaning, on the Trionics unit, this knob right here will adjust the focus in the digital night vision mode. Just simply turn it one direction or the other depending on how far away your object is. The last mode to talk about is fusion mode. This is a digital night vision image with a thermal overlay. In this mode, you might notice that the thermal overlay doesn't quite match up to the digital night vision image. If that is the case, you simply use the focus adjustment again to match up the thermal overlay over the top of the digital image. The reason you have to do that for this device is you're working with a couple of different magnifications. Overlaying a thermal and digital night vision image is already very difficult, but when you're trying to do it with different magnifications and different lenses, it gets even more difficult. So this is the reason for the thermal channel being fixed focus only. These have been some helpful tips on how to get started with your Pulsar Trionics unit. Welcome to the future of digital night vision and thermal.